This is the second installation of Ragdoll Blaster series from Backflip Studios. The obvious change here is graphics. Much better and realistic objects including boxes, blocks, wheels and so on. However, the combination of dark graphics and complementing music may give the feeling of a scary underground chamber or something. Line of sight is now a laser, laser beam instead of dotted path. Or dotted line uh, in version 1 however the tutorials for shooting mechanics are almost alike from the first version including shooting a distant object or flying over the top or the arch effect this version has more than 150 levels of gameplay in play gravity only effects kind of like a mini black hole teleporters that transports the uh, ragdolls from one side of the puzzle to the another and so on now the draw drawbacks once again no new type of gameplay so to speak you still aim and shoot and never run out, out of ammo or never run out of uh, ragdolls or aren't restricted by time you are bound to win of course you can perfect your shots and increase your score with fewer shots but no pressure or competition now right, let's show you guys uh, what I mean for example, bounce off. This is exact same thing as we had on the first game, except it was different color and graphics, where you shoot and um, your ragdoll is bounced off um, from a spring mechanism. Here, over the top, same thing. Before it was just blocks in uh, simple colors. Here you have graphical boxes and more 3D like frostbite. Well, this is kind of different. Let's go uh, to a real gameplay now. Last level of any game or any um, section of the game is supposed to be the hardest one. So let's go we'll pick backflip. Even here, you're presented with so many bombs in front of your target. But see, you continue to shoot and you win. That's the thing. Like that's what I don't like. If you are shooting so many times, you should be like there should be a limit. Like if you hit the bomb, that's it. It should be restarted so that you could you know make your shots more perfect. But you continue to shoot and you're eventually gonna hit your target let's try another level uh, somewhat innovative I like this level because you actually have to press that button or hit that button to uh, uh, switch off the rotation of the uh, these discs or whatever they are so some uh, hand try precision required so is here uh, your ragdoll is blown away with the wind from selected zone and uh, let's try another one after this uh, again so much difficult setup very uh, detailed setup um, but then again not a lot of strategy not a lot of brain power uh, we'll try one more uh, it's called orbit where you have that uh, in-game uh, black hole type of effect where you are sucked in so just shoot around and again uh, you're gonna get it eventually but uh, these are innovative levels um, not all the levels are innovative you're not gonna find like wow this is new but very few levels exist like uh, where you will be amazed that with uh, I guess new gameplay or new uh, concept of shooting. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, try it out. Thanks for watching.